Hi sweet souls, welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing the Laputin Oracle. I hope I said that right. It is a really cool deck. It's still wrapped, so I'll take that out. I think this is called Laputin. Laputin, Laputin Oracle. Very pretty box. I was expecting something different on Amazon. It showed something different, but it's so pretty. Love the colors. Oh, here is um, Alice. I won't butcher your name. Here we go. And I it's Lo Scarabo. Scarbale? I hope I said it right. I didn't know that. So that's interesting. Here we have the book and 36 Oracle cards. The figures of the meat wolf and the maiden intertwine in a subliminal dance cadence by the complementary rhythms of death and love. Very cool. It's 19.95, I think US. It's like $27 Canadian, I believe. Yeah. The box is really nice too. It's like kind of It's not like a box box type. It has that kind of feel to it. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how to explain it. But very pretty. So really excited to get this deck because it kind of rem I have a tarot deck in mind to pair this with, which is why I was super stoked when I saw it. Yes, here's the box. The cards look lovely. They also come wrapping. So here we have the deck. Um, the cards are definitely not, they kind of remind me of a Hay House kind of cardstock recently. They're definitely matte. I hope we can I hope we're able to bend them. We're gonna give it a try. Yep. And on the back. Yes, you're good to bend them. They bend back. I mean, they're they're okay. I honestly wouldn't recommend bending them too much. They might crease, but you definitely see they're a bit thin, but they're not bad. They're not too bad. Just be aware of some chipping and yeah, they're a little bit thin, but they're good. Yes, there might be some cuts because I went through all the cards and <laughs> I wasn't expecting this deck to be how it was. <laughs> so this is a, there might be some cuts here and there, so I do apologize. <laughs> so here we go. Yes, the reason why I got this deck, the reason why I got this deck, it reminded me of the Monsoon Tarot, which I do have and I'll bring out, uh, but I wasn't expecting it to, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be the way that it was, to be honest. It is only 36 cards, which is interesting. But yeah. It's a little graphic, <laughs> which I really wasn't expecting, but it's very beautiful artwork. Even the backs are very like lovely. You can get the reverse meaning. But yeah, I think this is okay. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, not too graphic, but it's graphic in some capacity. Maybe covering this up too. <laughs> it's a bit graphic, I suppose. In here too. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> so I guess we'll get it when the guidebook it'll explain because I was not expecting like all of this. <laughs> yeah, it's a definitely like some nice art. But yeah, the meanings I don't even know what the meanings like what they'll be, there's no words. They're just art. So that would have been nice to know. And this is on the front the box. Ooh. But yeah, see? I was expecting like this kind of, you know, vibe, art, and it does deliver. Very cool. I feel like you'll get what I mean when I show you the monsoon tarot. It's definitely interesting. Keywords would have been nice, just like somewhere. Yeah, like, what is this? <laughs> it's definitely a bit kind of dark, yeah? Very 
cool. Yeah, super nice. Ooh. Yeah, see, like, this kind of artwork reminded me of the monsoon tarot. No, I'll, I'll leave this on the side so I can <laughs> refer back to it. But, uh, very cool art. I guess there are only a few graphic cards. When I, when I went through it, it seemed like there were a lot of graphic cards, but they aren't. But it's very cool nonetheless. Like, look how sick it is, right? Very cool. So it's something about the wolf. Kind of. Hmm. Even today I just posted about, you know, slaying your demons. So this is very fitting. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> Love that. Just wow, right? Very lovely artwork. The colors are very muted, but the it like goes with the theme. Like I don't hate it. Ooh, right? Look at that. Wow. Super cool. Yeah, maybe I was thinking too much about the few cards that were graphic. I don't know why. I initially saw them and I was like, oh, like here. <laughs> They're so graphic. Oof, that's super nice, super cool. Wow. Right? Love that. I hope you can see well. Oops. <laughs> We're on the last car. So this was the one that kind of triggered my ooh. I have to kind of see what's up. But look at this. This is really cool here. I don't want to... Oh. But yeah, if you can see in the pond, there's the wolf and she's grabbing the hand. That's really cool. So this meanings, I wonder... I'm actually going to move this to the side. So the meanings, it's a very short, small deck, but it's really good. Just do a quick shuffle and then I'll go into my blabbering in a second. So shuffling's not bad. Very swift, very smooth, standard oracle size. So that's good. But we'll just take this card here because it was up the 21. I'm curious to see what this guidebook has to say. So, oh, this is a missed opportunity. <laughs> yes. I hope I'm saying it right. Laputin Oracle? Yes, English. I hope it has it in all the languages as well. So here it says, If I close my eyes and try to imagine what the divination rituals of the Oracle of Delphi might have been like, I see a dark landscape in the depths of the Aditon, a corridor in which the Pythae pronounced prophecies and priestess wrapped in long lunar robes in an ecstatic trance induced by hallucinogenic fumes evaporated from cracks in the ground. A lysergeric and powerful image, the same, the Luputin's oracular, oracular cards evoked in me the first time I looked at them. The swirls of smoke in the walls, drop clouds or sinuous female figures that change and Transform in the 36 oracular cards, becoming wild and delicate, cruel and affable, following the twists of the human soul in the most diverse facets. Whether manifest or concealed, I'm certain that this deck may have offer, surprisingly, profound answers to your questions from the simplest to the most complex, whether you use it alone or in conjunction with your favorite tarot deck. If you choose to use several divinatory instruments together. But before we begin, let me introduce some background on what oracles are and how to incorporate them into your daily practice. I will accompany you this mystical journey to better prepare you to embrace the meanings and potential of these cards with an open heart and mind. Well, that was nice. We got to learn a bit more about the author's process. I'll leave this here. If you want to read through it. 
and just how to use the card. Goes into some spreads. That says how it tells you about the oracle. So maybe we'll read this because I like to know. <laughs> Immersing myself in the illustrations of the oracle was like taking a plunge into my subconscious. So in order to find my inner maiden and take her by the hand on a journey of infinite facets and into subjective and collective concept of what is and what is believed to be the female archetype. The maiden of one of the two protagonists of the deck is an indomitable but fearful, sensual, but also maternal lost, but also found again. She is voluptuous and austere at the same time. As she is free and in chains, there is no single way to identify or label the female archetype, confining it within commonplace boundaries. When I speak of archetype, I do not speak of gender. Putin is not a deck for women, it is a deck that speaks to the heart of anyone who wants to discover the many nuances that color their soul. A deck capable of communicating with the subconscious in an evocative manner releasing feelings, memories, and images that reside in the back of our minds waiting to be rediscovered. The female archetype can be both wolf and dog, wild and cozy forest and hearth. In Aesop's fables about these apparently similar yet very different animals, the wolf I have just mentioned is the second protagonist of the oracle. It is accompanied by the maiden hunts the maiden. Hunts her, attempts her until it becomes or has perhaps always been an integral part of her. Oh, that's interesting. We see interacting in all the cards, forming a story that unravels like a tangle of an unpredictable skin. While we seek the knots to unravel the webs, we can embroider using the thread of this burn of ball of yarn. Thus, we recognize ourselves in the stories the cards create each time we draw them from this beautiful deck in order to explore inner being and the deepest aspects of our life. The wolf seduces the maid and vice versa. The two love, fear, and chase each other in a play, play of light and shadow. This is nothing but the mirror of our soul. Ooh, that's very interesting. I like the explanation. Very cool. was not expecting that. <laughs> I guess I should have read up a bit more in the description but this is a very cool deck i like the deeper insightful meanings here now we're going into the meaning so we have 21. oh so 21 is death of the ego i would have really liked the words <laughs> it would have just really helped death of the ego in order to delve into deeper knowledge, you will need to put away the part of your ego that makes you act superficially, that makes you take everything personally, and that prevents you from devoting yourself to fully to what you desire. Try to transcend your subjective point of view, suspend judgment, and let yourself be absorbed by learning, studying, and the desire for deeper insight. To do this, you will need to learn how to devote yourself to something, accept your vulnerabilities, Learn to stay in situations you identify as painful, not waiting for external validation of your um, actions or emotions. How much of your ego has been built on false information that your mind or the judgment of others has helped create? This card encourages you to think it through and deconstruct an ego that does not allow you to transform yourself into what you really want to be. Wow, that's a really good message. <laughs> card. Does it kind of evoke this message, yeah? I want to kind of like think through and kind of let go and kind of feel it. It's nice. I like the artwork. The messages are really nice and good. I do wish the picture was associated because in the cookbook, because there's no keywords. So that was kind of a missed thing. Oh, I just noticed there's a the artist signature. That's cool. I really like it though. It's super cool. It's super neat. Then it, I think it just goes into like different languages. So I forget which one. English, Italian, Espanol, Portuguese. And it's very short too, but overall nice. I like the feel, I like the vibes. Now, I do think it's nice if you want to check it out. It's not too expensive. The artwork is beautiful, like super stunning, super gorgeous. 
you want to check this out. Highly, would I highly recommend, I'd say, like the artwork? I'd recommend it. It's very nice. Yes, let me, I love this one. <laughs> so let me grab the Monsoon Tarot. This is what prompted me to get it, is the Monsoon Tarot. Uh, this is the limited edition Monsoon Tarot. It just has foil edges. Uh, you can get the standard one on Tevada as well, I believe, but this is the Monsoon Tarot deck, and I feel like you can kind of already see, like, what I mean. The colors are a little muted, but it looks, like, kind of similar, right? Like, look at that. Look at that. Just kind of, they really go well together, I think. I thought they were going to go well together, and it looks like they do go well together, like... Just kind of art, the art styles, um, I'm not sure. This is like Japanese art styles from the, what it, what it says somewhere, either on the box or on the website, but this is, um, just like Alice's, oh, who, who wrote this? It just says companion booklet, so I guess I don't know who the author is. I assume it's Alice, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll find that information and let you know. But just kind of like, the vibes are pretty similar, right? Just kind of with the wands and tarot. I don't know. They look very like similar. They feel like the, they pair well, which is why I kind of got it. I think they do. Yeah, that's what prompted me to get it, and that's what I wanted to mention, it was I was thinking of making a video on, like, pears, right? Like, look at all the colors here, and I just feel like it matches very well with, like, this tarot deck. I feel like they just go together very nicely, it's muted, it's kind of like light and dark. Some of the monsoon tarot is kind of dark, but it's definitely nice, it looks very good contrasting. So yeah, I think it's a great pair if you want to check it out. I'm happy with it. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if it's a good pair, or if you have a better pair, let me know. And uh, keep an eye out for that video, because I'll be doing tarot oracle pairs. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!